Hi everyone, welcome back into the Academy. Lovely to have you along for another video. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Warren Bennett. We've got Trev Moochin around the Academy somewhere. Um, this is a great cause and effect video I'm going to give you here because what we want to try and do is have one thing that affects a number of things. And this one is a real, real good one for you actually to take onto the golf course straight away. So let's have a look. But having an eye line that stays relatively neutral during your golf swing, especially on the way down and through impact, has a massive effect on a number of things. And one of the biggest contributors to a bad eye line, so we change the way our eyes, so we move our eyes or our head, is it has massive effect on path. And we'll see a number of people, especially high handicappers and people who come over the top, have a big change of their eye line through impact. So we've got the flight scope running today, and I'm gonna show you, obviously I don't have this fault, I'm going to try and show you by a little bit of an exaggeration how this can affect your path. So my feeling is when I come down to the ball, I'm going to switch my eyes. So you can see from the front view, it's going to be the sides of my cap. I'm going to literally change it. So I'm going to open. And I'm going to show you what that does to the club path. So a normal swing. I'm not affecting anything. I'm not trying to change anything. I'm just opening my eye line through the ball. A little bit thin, but I've, you can see by the flight scope, hopefully, that it's big time left. Path being 7.9 degrees to the left. So if you're not sure what that means, basically naught degrees would be dead straight. Basically eight degrees would be something like that. So you can see the difference it causes. Remember, cause and effect, if you can change one thing, hopefully it'll affect another thing. Because what we don't want to do in a golf swing, because it's one and a half seconds, and especially backswing and transition into the ball, very difficult to change on the golf course. You can in practice, because you can get into a little rhythm, but on the golf course, you're hitting it once every five minutes, a bit of pressure, and there's a target out there which can change you as well. So, all the, all the pros, and obviously, I can't really teach the club golfer as a pro, but what you can do is have elements of a pro swing into your swing. So most elite golfers and professionals have an impact position or the internals, and if you've seen previous videos, you know what I mean by internals, is hip height to hip height before and after the ball. They have a, they have a head and an eye line that stays very, very passive. And what that allows, that allows the club to come down, release down the path and straight. So if I have an open eye line, what that's gonna do, and you can see from the behind view, that's gonna open my shoulders, and so the club's gonna follow. The opposite is, let's say for instance, a Rory McIlroy, and I'll put on the screen, if I can, a video of him coming down to the ball, and you're gonna see his eye line change from pretty square, I would imagine, to quite shut. And you can see that Rory's, I can't really say his fault, because he's a world-class golfer, but his fault, I would say, is his eye line gets a bit too shut and he gets a bit too inside. So if you suffer from an over the top, just change your eye line. I know it can seem a little bit of a quick fix, but trust me, if you hit a few golf balls allowing the axis of your head or the axis of your swing, which is going to be your head, to stay neutral, it really will allow the club to swing into the ball. So let's stop rabbiting, let's hit a few. So I'm not going to work too much behind the ball because I do this relatively naturally. So hopefully I'm going to swing, slow that swing down and show you what my head does. Now you're going to see the sides of my cap staying relatively still. So the club path with that, woohoo, God, 0.3. So very, very neutral. Anything under one is obviously very acceptable. Anything under two, really. So my focus is keeping my head as still as I can, allowing my arms and legs and everything to fire. Because remember, what we say is everything should move apart from your head, really. It's allowed to move laterally a little bit. So everything stays as still as it can. Okay, let's try another one. See if I can back that one up with another neutral one. Okay, that was really bad. I really opened up there. 
open club face 2.1 so that was a definite open club face so I cut across that one and left it to the right right okay keep that behind as much as I can I'm going to go for a draw here so I'm going to exaggerate so I'm going to really feel my head and my eyes shut coming down so the ball should start right and if I release it enough it should draw which it has done a little bit hopefully the flight scopes pick that up I would be surprised if that's a left path 4.2 to the right so you can see I didn't change my path and it's obviously going to be a bit easier for me because I don't have an over the top extreme fault but you can see it gives you a visual of how you can change path but not even working on path weird remember the top of the head is the axis to your swing and everything moves apart from that right I'm going to go for a neutral one okay left that out to the right slightly path was probably a little left again maybe woohoo wow take that so it must have been an open club face so if you're unsure because remember if it's a blink and you miss it feeling that's always what do we always say let's slow down and smooth out and make it a little bit shorter so it gives us a bit of awareness time during so what I recommend is some nice easy swings so remember head head down and head still is the worst swing thought you can have and the best it all depends what you're doing around your head and as you can see with those swings I'm allowing everything to move so everything's moving around my head I'm not being I'm not just staying still everything's twisting there's a little twist on the way back little hinge with the hands really keeping back you can see I haven't even seen where the ball's gone yet so that is the structure to consistency especially the internals which are really difficult as we know it's a blink and you miss it you can't really feel it down there it's impossible to feel it then you can start ramping it up that looked pretty nice it felt very neutral so remember everyone if I wanted to start if I got trouble on the right and I want to start this ball left obviously I'll aim slightly left and I'll go with it with my head a little bit so guarantee the ball to start left which hopefully the flight scopes pick that up so hopefully that'll be like a five seven degree yep so there's the anti right shot and the vice versa I'm going to really shut my eye line a bit of Rory swing allow the club to swing past me and you can see the opposite is happening I started the ball to the right and it's now drawing back club pass should be about the same as the left one which it is it's a really effective way of a cause and effect because you can't think of five things during a golf swing it's fine at the range where you're breaking it down and doing little drills which is needed but making sure you think of the one thing that affects four is the absolute nirvana so try that next time you go to the range please let me know if you find that um, something of interest and we'll see you on the next one Trev's asleep in the corner and I don't blame him so we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching cheerio